What up, dogs? Welcome back to Guard Attacks Look at Heroes. Let's get right back into it, shall we? Last episode, we just barely purchased Terra. It was, it's a good, good time. So we're gonna clear up and put on a sunny base or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You guys, I pretend. What the fuck was that? I tried to name one of my episodes. Shit it on my dick. Okay. Alright, good. I didn't lose the <laughs> Oh, that would have sucked. That would have sucked a lot. Okay. Okay. Alright. And now I go into this back area right, right here and I start uploading the video to my It's gonna be the 20th. 20th and... Alright, sounds good, man. I guess the worst part about uh, having longer episodes is just the increased uh, fucking uh, recording time and upload time. Because I upload on my. Uh, on my channel, obviously, but I have a different, uh, you know, Google account, uh, where, where, you know, which I'm not going to take this connected to your Google account, but I have a different Google account for, let's say, a personal account that I, you know, check emails and do work shit on, and it's, you know, it's kind of shitty that I can't do that, uh, while I'm uploading, because it would fuck shit up. You know, it's, you know, it's, uh, I could talk about, like, YouTube and Google and how they did it. And I fucked a lot of things up in the room with a lot of fucking people. Uh, I just didn't give a shit about it. And, uh, you know, everyone's already, you know, set it to death. They've already moved past it. They're already used to it at this point. But, you know, I would... Here's, here's a suggestion for YouTube or Google or whoever fucking makes these decisions. I would like to be able to have two accounts open at the same time. There. That is my challenge to you. I challenge you to make it so that two accounts can be logged into on the same uh, browser. Because that would make it so I could, uh, I could successfully like upload videos. And uh, you know, because the videos take a long time to upload, I can also like, while they're uploading and I'm not recording anything at the same time. Just go on to like my work, you know, account. Check the work things out there. So, that would be nice. You know, would that not be nice? I think it would be nice. So that you know, if Google or YouTube wants to do something like actually productive and smart and have people love them for once, uh, do that. Do that. See what happens. See what happens. I'll, I'll show you. Oh fuck, okay, that's, you know, I like that, I enjoy that, you know, that's a nice addition, thank you, YouTube, thank you, Google, you are smart people, honestly, I should be there, and I don't know shit about computers, but I'm like, I'm like, yo, fucking, we need this, and they'll be like, oh, well, the programming for that, and fucking, and I'll be like, no, dude, like, fucking figure it out, because we want this, Okay, so they, they figure it out and they do it, and then everyone loves them. And they're like, Garo, you're the greatest employee we've ever had. Here's 10 million dollars. Oh, thank you. Uh, you know, it's pretty good. But, uh, you know, next time I expect a little bit more from my great ideas. Like, okay, of course, yeah, anything you can do, name your price. Fun times, you guys. <laughs> this is a. Re I haven't even taken a sip of my water yet. It's, has, is the heat dying down? Is that what's going on? Oh, oh, that's nice water. Uh, so I did officially, uh, finally, like do like a test recording with my fan on just to see if it does. 
uh, fuck with my mic, because the mic is fairly close to my mouth, and the fan is fairly far away. I didn't know if it, like, picked up everything, so I tried it out, and it turns out it does pick up, pick up the, uh, sound. It comes, uh, it comes through as, like, sort of a white droning noise in the background, I was like, no, can't do that, so I turned off the fan, and got my cup of water, high school cup of water, so, you know, just surviving, but honestly, I, that was the first sip I took since I started recording, like, an hour ago, or however fucking long ago it was, uh, so, so, I, you know, it must not be so bad, or maybe I'm just, you know, maybe I'm just... And no, nothing is happening in the actual world. Maybe, maybe this is fucking. What? What is going on? I swear to God, you guys, I'm not. I uh, just woke up. Actually. I just woke up, I started watching some videos uh, on Hearthstone, because I was going to get ready to start playing a little bit of Hearthstone. I remember, sorry, I was talking about last episode, uh, playing a few games on my or one of them was Hearthstone. I was, I was considering uh, bringing it back to do uh, the Karazhan uh, thing, but uh, I did a test recording, and oh my god, so bad. <laughs> Not only was it so laggy, but it also took like a billion years to upload. So I decided to just, decided to just fucking cancel it and just play it on my own, you know, in my own fun, spare free time or whatever. But regardless, I was gonna get ready to, uh, I was gonna get ready to start playing some of Hearthstone, playing some uh, videos. I watched, uh, I watched an interesting, like, fucking Karazhan priest, but, uh, Wow Hobbs, uh, you know, uh, imagined it for himself. It included, it included like, Arcane Anomaly. Bunch of uh, spells to like buff its health, including uh, it divine spirit and inner fire to like double its health and also give it like turn it into a fucking beast. Uh, it also had like uh, a priest of the beast because you're playing a lot of spells and stuff, so you're like, uh, healing all the time. Sort of like a heal uh, heal priest. Uh, but then it included Yogg in it as well, so I was like. You know what? It's a pretty nice contender for uh, that unicorn priest everyone's looking for. Um, because it does ex exist <laughs> right now. Uh, the closest I saw was uh, there's a, there a person who did. Um, who was running. Karen Bloodhook. Uh, which, has a, which is a nice card. A uh, really good death battle. Uh, but. Uh, they ran uh, Karen, and well, they, they trusted that it would just survive for a turn. And they fucking uh, ever botched that shit. And then they, uh, they fucking did some, um, and then they also did some, uh, I think they did a Karen plus a uh, faceless uh, manipulator uh, to double up the Karens, and then they volaged it to do two more Karens. Uh, they are both 1-1. One, one. Uh, and then fucking, you know, the opponent somehow dealt with all that shit. And then they dropped a fucking Mizzoth. And since four Cairns were defeated, it summoned four fucking Cairns. I was like, you know, pretty decent, uh, pretty decent fucking, uh, Unicorn Priest get going right there. It's an interesting Priest uh, deck that I've never seen before. I was like, yo, pretty dope. So that was a, that was a nice there. I think that's why they're trying to make fucking silence priest into the thing. Uh, but I don't think it's I don't think it's gonna work, you guys. Purify is just too fucking bad. I love how this is not a Hearthstone video and I'm still talking about Purify because Purify is still fucking talking about. They they released the first wing of Karazhan. I beat the first wing and they got like the fucking uh they got like the class challenges, one of them was priest. And the priest deck, I, uh, the priest uh, class challenge, I guess you, you unlock like priest of the feast, uh, but they gave you like a silence priest to use against the silver. And it's like why, why silence anything on this? Well, 
Well, I guess the silverware goal up because you don't silence anything on there. So I have to like learn pretty fast, like, oh, the silence is specifically just for my board, I guess. It is. Like, um, and they put a lot of silence. They put like two regular silences, two of the uh, owls, two of the spell uh, or whatever, spell busters. Uh, and then they put um, and they put two purifies. So much silence in this deck, and I lost like three or four games in a row with it against Silverware Golem, one of the fucking easiest bosses ever. It wasn't even heroic. So it can't be. It's a class challenge. So it's like the fucking boss that I beat with just the ray. I didn't even like, create a special deck for this. I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna do like a uh, fucking Nizot fucking Hunter happens, and ended up fucking wrecking face. You know, just, just with my regular Nizot Hunter Because I didn't feel like making a custom deck. I was just like, let's see if I can just beat it with a regular deck. So I did. And then they gave me a fucking Silence Priest deck with Purifies. And I fucking played it. And, uh. Yeah, it was garbage. Uh, I think you fucked up on this one. Blizzard. Uh, honestly, you have to make it zero. Zero uh, mana cost if you want it to do, if you want it to see it at all. Uh, or just make it so that it silences your own minion for zero mana cost without the card drop. Who fucking gives a shit about the card drop, man? Fucking, yeah, it's, it's a priest. They'll find card draw elsewhere. They'll, see, they'll, they'll figure out card drop. Don't worry about priests. They got card drop. You don't need card drop. Just fucking give them the silence for... Silence and own your own minion for zero mana. And... I like... Because they already have, like, silence your opponent's minion. Silence any minion for zero mana. Maybe it'll be, like, sort of weak. So maybe, uh... Silence your own minion for zero, for, oh, okay. How about one mana, sounds your own minion, give it plus two power, some, some, shit, some dumb shit like that. Hey, you gotta do it at that. Point. Silence, and then give it two power. That way it's like, if any debuffs are on it, if it's like pulled out by Barnes, or by like, or is it some dude by like Hero Volage or some shit, uh, then, you know, or if it's just a really shitty minion, like uh, Ancient Watcher or some shit like that, Hero Statue. Just silence it. Yeah, because that's what that card is used for. It's used to silence your own minions, and then it gives it just like make it a little bit more tankier. It could also, it could also like pretty combo pretty well with like a divine spirit uh, inner fire. And you could use it just as like a, using it just for buff priest. Uh, what the fuck is doing? Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, you could just use it as a buff priest card too. Uh, Use it as like your first, uh, first fucking uh, 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 spell off. Just uh, silence it, but then give it that two for zero mana. That's pretty like valuable right there for a buff priest. But you know, the problem with you know, the problem with the wizards like ideology behind it was that like they're like well, when they created the card, they're like, oh, we want to use it for this specific reason. So when they turned it into one mana. People were using it just for the card draw. They were like, no, no, don't use it for card draw. We want you to use it to silence your own minions. And then maybe get a card draw. Because that's, you know, that's valuable there. So they made it two mana. That way it can definitely not be played for the card draw effects. Uh, for the cycling effects. Because it's a two mana draw card. It's like, it's either equally priced or overpriced. <clears throat> for just the card draw, and then adds the little silence. So if they want it for the silence your own minion value, which is uh, with priest, you gotta like work for that shit. That's the, that's the issue. Whereas like every other every other class has got like class cards and shit that like combo very well with stuff that they have that you barely have to work for. Um, for example, uh, so that's a good one. Okay, so, uh, fucking, um, uh, Klaxi Amber fucking, uh, fucking dude or whatever for the druid. okay? Uh, four mana, four, five. 
If your Cthulhu has at least 10 health, then you can sky plus 5 health. So, it becomes a core map Fucking insane, right? But, on its own, it's a pretty decent card. You know, even if you don't have the, uh, the, what's it called? Even, even if you don't have the 10 uh, attack on your uh, But, more often than not, they don't have to work too hard to get that 10 attack on you. Literally just to, uh, to, uh, turn to fucking Beckoner, uh, or whatever. Turn three, um, uh, fucking, uh, Disciple. And then there you go. Turn four Klaxi. Turn four Klaxi with the four ten. So fucking powerful. Especially for a druid. He's like, you know, specialized in fucking like, huge fucking shits. Uh, like that. So, let's stick around. So it's like, you know, I'm a decent card in its own right. Without the, uh, without the effect. But then the effect is really good. But also, you gotta work for it a little bit. But, typically, you don't have to work that hard for it. The, in the class that it's uh, doing. Uh, whereas, fucking, uh, in, uh, in the priest's, uh, the priest's, uh, case, you get Purify, which is, at the very base, it's, uh, it's strip away all of the effects. It's a two-mana card, which is pretty overpriced. Then you got a, um, then you got the Silence the Old Minion effect, which you have to work really hard for to get value from. And then, the value that you get from it is, you know, it's sure it could be good, but more often than not, it loses you, like, so much tempo and so much time to, like, set that shit up that you're probably already losing the game. Now. It's, um, it's not enough value for... Trying to make sounds priestly thing, it's never gonna be a thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm trying to find I'm trying to find an idea in priest thing. Regardless, we're coming up to the end of this episode. It's 1050. You thought y'all thought I forgot I didn't forget I had a fucking steel trap for you. So like, subscribe, and comment if you guys are enjoying the series thus far. I know I am. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.